Bridget. <laughs> Welcome to Breakfast with Spaniels with Dr. Judy Morgan. Purchase all of Dr. Morgan's products at her website at www.drjudymorgan.com. Now it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Morning. We were going to title it Mondays Suck, but you got Giardia instead. <laughs> or we can change it. So, so I was just... I turned on my phone and my daughter posted that she decided to get up at 5 a.m. this morning to go to a spin class. And the instructor was um, elderly and kicked her butt. And her name was Sparkle. And uh, she said, pain is is just, oh, I forget what she said. Pain is just uh, something leaving your body. I don't know. All I know is I need Sparkle. I need somebody to kick my butt at 5 in the morning and get me going. Other than the dog that woke me up at 5 in the morning after I had been up from 2 to 4. That dog, who needed to go pee, which was fine. Except I even took him out to the back patio where he walks better. I sat him down, let him walk across the patio. I went to find the light switch, which is in the garage somewhere for the back patio. After hitting 15 light switches, I finally found the right one. By the time I walked back out there, oh yeah, he'd peed a river and then he fell down in it. Laid there in his pee. Really started my day off just right. Didn't get me up all night. Yeah, he didn't get you up all night. That was a bonus. But he ended our day yesterday with a bath because he had diarrhea and laid in that. So, man, this old age thing is really rough. <laughs> we we got to learn to walk and not fall in our poop and pee. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah. You know, pain is weakness leaving the body. Thank you, Marine Corps quote. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Charlie, you got weakness leaving your body? Yeah, his body's just weak. Uh, so I guess the answer is bringing his uh, we his wheels live in the basement for um, mealtime. So he can stand. He eats much better in his wheels, but I guess he needs to go outside in his wheels, especially in the middle of the night. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so... Um, all right, Giardia, that's what we were going to talk about. Yes. So I'm seeing a lot of Giardia. Giardia is a summer problem in particular um, because it is one of, it's a one-celled paras intestinal parasite. So when you have a stool sample checked for uh, worms, sometimes it'll come back positive for Giardia. So we have a couple of one-celled parasites, Giardia and Coccidia. Um, <coughs> Giardia tends to live in wet areas, so puddly type areas, moisture. Um, it's pretty difficult to get rid of and it is very easily transmitted between dogs. And uh, we see it most commonly in puppies. So I'll get puppies that have, um, and we'll see this almost always in puppies bought from pet stores, puppies coming through puppy mills, puppies coming from unclean, unsanitary conditions. Sometimes they have it even in clean conditions, but um, we see it a lot in puppies that are brought into the state from West Virginia and down south. Um, not sure why those areas, but those seem to be heavy Giardia areas. So 
It's probably just the moisture and, humid and humidity in the south. I'm not sure about West Virginia. Um, but we see it a lot, and it can be difficult to get rid of. And one of the problems is that, uh, you know, people will bring in their new puppy, will diagnose the Giardia, will treat them. Um, and we have to sometimes use a combination of chemicals to kill the Giardia. So a lot of times we use fenbendazole, which is Panicure, in combination with metronidazole, which is Flagyl. Um, if you want to treat them naturally, you can use food grade diatomaceous earth. It's going to take probably 30 to 60 days. Um, and you've got to clean your yard. I had a woman in the other day, her puppy had Giardia multiple times. She was having a hard time getting rid of it. So her um, husband or father, I forget, dug out her entire backyard and bricked it in uh, so that they could clean it better. And she was picking up everything, spraying everything. Um, because it can be pretty difficult. One of the biggest problems that we see is that uh, people don't tell us that they have five more dogs at home, so we keep treating the puppy, and what's happening is the other dogs keep reseeding the yard, because once you have one with it, you're, it's gonna go through the crowd unless you segregate that one from day one until it's taken care of. Um, so Giardia uh, will cause a loose stool very commonly a bloody loose stool and we're talking pretty liquidy usually with these guys um, so i have a new shepherd puppy that's had diarrhea for literally four months since the day they got it we've treated it for giardia we finally got a negative stool but the puppy still has loose stool so giardia can be one of those things that can kind of hide out a little bit it can go into remission you'll get a negative stool and then the next month you'll get a positive again so you've got to keep checking and <clears throat> keep going after it. So, um, you know, if you if you treat them once with the chemicals, it's still not going away. Start adding in some, some DE as well. Make sure you're cleaning up really well. Make sure uh, that you're checking every animal in the house, not just that one that came up positive. Um, people can get Giardia as well. Can cats get it? Yeah, we see it in cats as well. Um, and people can get it. My son had it as a small child. No idea where he got it because none of our pets had it. Um, so probably just out in the backyard playing in the puddles in the mud. Um, and uh, at the time, they treated children with uh, furacin, which is a yellow liquid. Uh, normally we use it as a paste, but oh, by the way, it causes cancer. <laughs> so I don't think they use that for children anymore. Um, we actually stopped using it in the clinic. It used to be a topical uh, wound paste that we used all the time, but uh, don't have it anymore. It was funny because uh, when we used to do declaws on kitties years ago, that's what we would use on their bandages. And uh, my staff used to say, oh, yeah, go get the cancer. We need to put the cancer on the feet. I was like, well, if we knew it caused cancer, why, why were we using this stuff? I don't know. You know, times change. Thankfully, my outlook has changed as well. So, um, Anyway, Giardia is a tough one. If you've got it, you got to work really hard to get rid of it. So um, for those of you looking to find food grade diatomaceous earth, you actually can get it on Amazon. There's great instructions for how to use it on uh, Wolf Creek Ranch website. Very nice website on natural treatments for animals. Um, but they have food grade diatomaceous earth there. Okay. Can I make Facebook Live on anesthesia for surgery? Many Pomeranians die in Israel from anesthesia. Really? Okay, yeah, I'd love to. Just ordered 60 pounds of DE to treat my yard after the hurricane. Flow left, fleas behind. Yeah, I'll bet. Fleas, mosquitoes, bloated dead animals that are going into pet food. Mmm. 